Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So every time on our channel, we come up with some amazing and unique ROM which have some amazing feature, stability or customizations. Just like that, this ROM is something which is inspired from the Pixel experience or maybe a Pixel OS 2. The ROM is an official build from the community but still, it holds some pretty good features with respect to customizations and performance. So this is the Pixel Extended ROM of version 5.5 running on Android 13 for POCO F1. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see what it actually holds. Now let's jump into the system information. So clicking on the settings icon you will see that it is running on the latest version of Pixel Extended of version 5.5 with the latest security patch of 5th of February 2023 and Android 13 Easter egg that's pretty much obvious. So that's all included into the system information and now let's move further to the other features of this ROM. Now moving further let's jump into the Pixel Extended customizations. So talking about the customizations then they have the section called as pixel extensions and this is something which looks pretty much amazing because they actually included everything at one place where you just have to simply scroll above option where you can see everything is compiled in one user interface. You just have to select any of the options and you are good to go to select a wide variety of options. You will get each and every option which you get in all the other custom ROMs and the smoothness and the way it behaves as per you scroll it it's something really satisfying and you would love to do that that's something pretty good with respect to the user interface they have kept it kind of minimal simple and easily accessible so talking about the customizations you will get your all type of customizations and also talking about the Android 13 generic customizations, then you will get all the other things such as the themed icons, the home settings where you will get all the settings you want to do as per your preferences. A small type of monitor engine and also here we go, this is the themed icons. Moving further, you will also get all the settings such as the widgets of Android 13. So after clicking on this, you just have to enter into widgets and you will get this famous widget of clock where you just have to drag a clock of your choice and you will get all the kind of variations and customization the way you want. So the customization section is pretty much good in this ROM and I, I was really satisfied by it. They have really did a good work with respect to that and that is worth appreciating. So kudos to the team. Now let's move further and jump towards the gaming performance of this ROM. So let me tell you guys, I tried to search inside the customizations and also I tried to find out the miscellaneous section in this ROM but they haven't included the gaming performance or any type of gaming mode based settings which means they haven't included or constructed any type of custom settings for the games you play. But not to worry, as you guys know, we surely test the games in all the ROMs. So let's jump into it. So in my case I played BGMI and this is the BGMI gameplay where I am playing it on the full settings which the ROM gave me. And the gameplay is really smooth and you won't face any type of issues and that's a really good performance from the team itself. So that's really nice. Now let's test some power that is the battery performance of this ROM. So talking of the battery performance of this ROM then you will get about 6 to 7 hours of screen on time on normal usage and some 2 to 3 game plays of BGMI or Call of Duty or any of your favorite game. So in terms of battery performance too this ROM is pretty much good big and official and I was pretty much satisfied by it. Again the battery performance may vary from person to person. Now let's talk about the CTS or better called as the safety net check bypass. 
So talk about your safety net check then you will get it bypassed out of the box. That means you can use all the payment applications and all the finance applications without any issues. And you won't need to explicitly route your ROM via Magis and you are good to go to use all finance applications. Now let's snap some photos that is Gcam compatibility. So talking about the camera section then you will get this pretty simple and stock camera which you usually get in all the Android 13 ROMs these days. And there are very less custom ROM communities which actually include some great camera such as the one you get with MIUI. But not to worry, you can use the latest Gcam APK on this device which is of version 8.7 and you will get this gcam working perfectly fine on this rom and that works like a charm just have to simply install that apk and you will get all the features working just have to enable the hdr enhance and just uh, increase the frame rates or decrease the frames in hdr as per your choice and you are all good to go to have some good and quality photos moving towards the video section then you will get all the resolutions up to 4k 60 fps Mind you that you don't have to click on the 8K because POCO F1 doesn't support the 8K 60fps or any type of FPS. So in terms of photography section, you will be satisfied as you will be getting all type of features to leverage from the version 8.7 of Google camera. Just have to simply install it and you are good to go with the optical zoom and all type of resolutions. It works just perfectly fine night mode portrait and all the other functions works completely smooth and you won't face any type of issues so in terms of photography section they have allowed us to install the gcam and you will get some pretty crisp photos and some amazing footages of video recordings so that's something pretty much nice and in terms of photography you won't get disappointed so in terms of photography and in camera department i really love this rom and that's pretty much nice Now let's talk about the security and Dirac or better called as the Mi Sound Enhancer. So talking about the security then you will get all the security features from the Google Play Protect and also you will get the face unlock out of the box. Sooner but better they have given us the face unlock in Android 13 in all the ROMs and that really works super smooth. And this face unlock is again a IR face unlock that you won't face any type of issues and you will be able to unlock your POCO even in the dark. In terms of fingerprint unlock 2, it works pretty much smooth and it's kind of snappy and you won't face any type of issues in fingerprint unlock 2. But I prefer the face unlock because it really works like a charm. Moving further in the sound settings then you will get the Mi sound enhancer or better called as the Dirac sound enhancer. You just have to enable it, set the settings and headphones of your choice with the custom preset, enabling the hi-fi and the sound scene and you are good to go to get some pretty thumping bass and amazing sound experience on your POCO F1 using this ROM. So that's something pretty much good. Now let's talk about some numbers that is the Antutu scores. So talking about the Antutu scores then I was pretty much impressed as you will get some 3,56,000 da 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 type of Antutu scores and that's something pretty much uh, appreciable and that was the point where I thought that Antutu benchmark is uh, really showing some accurate results for the very first time. Still I don't uh, rely much on the numbers but still who want to see the numbers this is the Antutu benchmark score and that's pretty much good in my opinion. Now let's jump to the conclusion or better called as the final words. So I used this ROM for almost a week including the gaming performance, the battery performance and all the other stuff. So in my opinion, though it's an unofficial build, you can actually use this ROM for the daily usage. The ROM is pretty much tweaked as per the user who wants to use it as for the daily usage and you won't face any type of issues in camera, in gaming and battery, all the departments are pretty much amazing and it just works like uh, some pixel experience or pixel os roms which are highly demanded in the custom rom communities so you can just use this rom without any issues and you are good to go to use it as a daily driver too so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel for more such updates upcoming
Until then, see you guys again in the next one. Till then, peace out.